Windows Steady State makes it easy to set up and maintain a computer for shared use. First, make sure the computer you want to share is just the way you want it. Disk defragmented, programs installed and updated, virus scan run, and so on. Then run the Steady State installation wizard. This is the Steady State main screen or console. The first thing you'll want to do is add a new user account. You can create an account for each individual, but one great feature of Steady State is that you can create a shared account for a whole group of users for whom you want to define the same set of restrictions. Click on Add a New User. Type a username and password and specify where to save the profile. You can lock the user profile if you want all the history files and caches to be cleared whenever the user logs off. This protects the privacy of multiple users who use the same shared account. You can also set session time limits and automatic log off options here. On the Windows Restrictions tab, you can control what appears on the Start menu. This lets you offer users a cleaner, simpler Windows interface and also protects your system by keeping users away from sensitive features such as Control Panel. You can also hide any disks you don't want the user to see. The Feature Restrictions tab lets you put the Internet completely off-limits, or you can allow only specified websites. You can also prevent one user from interfering with another by removing certain functions such as Favorites from Internet Explorer and Macros from Microsoft Office programs. Any programs on the shared computer that you don't want a user to run, you can easily prohibit on the Block Programs tab. Steady State lets you set many different options for each user account. If you have several shared computers that all need the same user accounts, good news! You can easily export users from one Steady State computer and import them to as many as you like. Steady State user restrictions are powerful and easy to use. Now you can customize the user experience and lock down your system. User restrictions will help prevent problems from occurring on your shared computers. But that's just your first line of defense. Steady State also includes Windows Disk Protection, which enables you to undo any unwanted changes to the system that a user might make. Suppose someone has moved or deleted some important system files on the shared computer. You don't know what they are or where they are. Maybe unknown and unwanted programs have been installed on the machine. Are they dangerous or disruptive? And what if someone has changed system settings, or reconfigured the desktop, or altered toolbars and menus, or who knows what? With Windows Disk Protection turned on, you can relax. Just restart the computer and all changes are cleared. Everything is once again exactly the way you want it, on the hard disk, on the screen, and in the system. It's easy to enable disk protection with just a few clicks. You can choose for changes to be cleared every time the computer restarts, or you can retain changes for a specified period. In a school, for example, you might want to retain changes until the end of a project or a term. How does disk protection work? Steady State creates a cache, a special place on the hard disk, where it stores all the changes a user makes to the system. This cache is safe and contained like a sandbox in which users do all their activities without affecting the system outside the sandbox. When you clear the cache, you discard all user changes, and Steady State creates a brand new empty sandbox for the next user to work in. One important note, be sure your disk is defragmented and has enough free space before you turn on disk protection. See the handbook for details. As you can see, Steady State is easy to set up and easy to use. Now you can turn Windows into an ideal rugged platform for shared access computing. Easier to use, harder to break, and always able to return to a known good state. Learn more about getting the most from Windows Steady State.